Uh, this is about how to create a diversionary tactic when trouble starts chewing at your leg or uh, pulling at your arms. It's called Trouble Seeks Another Object. Trouble Seeks a Mayan Calendar. Finds nothing clinging to the kitchen wall, save machine shop corn, five leaves left. Chronicles of past disasters. Scant room for any terrors of coming attractions. Trouble is put to work, chasing woodpeckers from failed guest house joists. Loses interest, heads for a scrub oak holler to incite new uprisings in an ancient range war. But coyotes, red foxes, allow us how they've seen his kind before and leave this insurgent kicking skunk cabbage frogs. Trouble cuts coupons from Victoria's Secret, free panties at formal place settings. Might stifle a laugh at a lingerie shuffle, but the Croxless compartment is now home to clown pants and wedgy cotillion, the least bit of trouble. Trouble lurks beneath absent swamp juice at the end of the dock. Might snap it all firstborn were it not for that oar. Trouble gets bored, wants to go off the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> this, this poem took its inspiration in mid-April from an oil tanker truck that tipped over on Baptist Road, but I thought it was particularly appropriate for the residents of Louisiana tonight, and uh, it's called Trump's Enough. Amber winks at welcome home and cadence of three dozen hazmat trucks scarcely seem ominous. Time for parades and fashion runways make way for ducklings. Could this be a caribou's back rub instinct demanding shotsu from a Rosneft pipe segment? Chakra release and comfort fuel. They're called organic chains, after all. But then I remember the terror of carrying a steaming pasole in a cracked purple terrine, spillover burns, aromatics on the tongue, and I wonder if there will ever be trucks enough. Thanks. <laughs>